Hey G5, UBQ here again today. Folks, this week I want to take a look at the radio editing, the GD77. DMR radio. Got mine in a couple weeks ago, got it charged, have not got back into it. So, uh, I figure it's time to take this thing out, field test it, and take a look at it. Those of you that know me, one of the first things I do when I get one of these, anything like this, is I want to check it out, find out. Is this thing sturdy? Is it built well? Can it hold up to real world testing? Because you know what? If it can't stand real world use, if it can't be there, some few drops, bangs, and all that, it doesn't matter how well everything is inside, if it's going to break and fall apart with real usage, it's not going to be of much value to you, to me, to anybody else. So I took this thing out. It is, seems like it is built real well. It feels good and sturdy. Uh, seems like a really good radio there. Uh, what makes this thing feel like it's a pretty good radio? It is dual band. It is analog and digital. It is DMR, tier one and tier two. It's a true tier two. Uh, dual band and dual time slot. The software for it, you know, for some of you may be kind of the downside. On DMRs, chirp is not there, and so the programming is a little bit more complex. It is going to take a little bit more time. If you take the time to work through it, and you program it in, and even some of it you can do right there from the keypad. Program that in, save it, you'll have it, and then it's always there. So it is a little more difficult. You just got to work through that. But the benefits you get from it are well worth it. Um, so anyway, I've got mine charged. I got it programmed out. Uh, went through it, and again, like I said, it's got a lot of the options are also there in the keypads and the, the keys and everything else is there. So um, I was go, able to go out and go get some good reports. What I did is I had to get a code plug from somewhere else. I don't know why, but in the San Antonio area, there are not DMR repeaters. If they are, I haven't run across them yet. So I had to go somewhere else to test this thing out, kind of down the road a bit. Um, when I did, I was able to get some really good reports. They told me the audio was coming across great, crystal clear. If you haven't tried digital, it is a difference of night and day from going to the analog. It comes across crystal clear. It was really good. Um, I was able to hear them very well. It's got a very nice speaker inside, so I was able to hear that as well. It's got an 18-hour battery, big heavy-duty battery. Nice. It's 48 hours as far as standby. So that'll definitely get you through a nice long day. Some of you might ask, you know, why do I need this? For most of you, if you're asking that, if you're the person asking that, you're probably not even watching this. So it really doesn't matter. You know, we all know that those communications and all the things we have available today, the, the computers, the cell phones, all that stuff, there may be a time when that's not there. In fact, it's probably not a matter of if, it's when. And these are the only things that are ever there at those times. Even during hurricanes, during tornadoes, during floods, all the different things we've had in the past, you may not hear about it much, but the ham radio community and all that is what really keeps going all throughout that time. Uh, it's also great for just the regular everyday outdoor activities, construction sites, hotels, security teams, different businesses, hospitals, um, there's a lot of great uses to it and also just keeping track of everybody, you know, throughout the day. So I'll take a look at it. Let's revisit a couple things on this because I'm not going to go through all the intricate specs. You can read that. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. You can go through all that stuff. To me, I take a look at it. I think it's going to be a great value for the money. The display is nice and bright, easy to read for people like me that are getting a little bit not so young. You know, that makes it a little bit easier. It's got a good receive, and it's got a good audio and a transmit. I appreciate that. Uh, receiver sensitivity is right on. It's got a solid feel and build for the price. To me, it's easy to operate. That's, that's important to me. As far as I'm working with some of these things, it comes with a great programmed antenna. It's got the programmed antenna comes with it. But if you feel like you need a better connection, again, our better antenna, it's an SMA connection. You can get yourself just a longer, better antenna that goes with it. Um, overall, I think it's a really nice analog, digital, DMR radio, dual band radio. I've only taken it out and really done the go on good field test. I, will, I haven't really found any real negatives to it other than some minor stuff, but that's going to be with a lot of the radios and from what I hear, the manufacturers working on those.
I hope, looking at the radiality, the GD77, I hope that, you know, the preliminary view has given you at least a little bit of information so you know whether this is the radio for you or not. Um, guys, thanks for watching. If you have this radio, or if you've used this radio, or if you want to get this radio and you want to come back, leave comments below about the radio. Leave comments, good, bad, whatever it may be. Let us know what your thoughts are. Um, subscribe to our channel so we can kind of keep in touch that way. Guys, 73s, page E5, UBQ. That was easy.